What are you going to do when you are beaten by a venomous snake? How are you going to get treatment? What kind of medications do you require to survive snake bite and venomation? On today's topic, I will speak about how to produce antivenom from livestock. The most effective and the safest treatment against snake bite and venomation is antivenom. My name is Dr. Benedict Ofo. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to speak about how it is produced, what type of animal, what type of snake venom, what are the techniques required in purifying the antivenom, what are the ethical clearance required, what are the World Health Organization guidelines required to produce antivenom. The most widely used animal here is the horse. It's a horse. Some use sheep, some use chickens, some use rabbits. How do you immunize the animal? How do you purify the antibodies? And then how do you further ensure that the World Health Organization guidelines are followed in order to produce a safe and effective antivenom for human use or animal use? Number one thing you need is the snake venom. The type of antivenom you want to produce will determine what type of snake venom you require. If you want to produce a monospecific antivenom, what it means you need to collect venom from one snake species. If you want to produce polyspecific antivenom, you have to collect snake venom from more than one snake species. So once the snake venom has been collected um, through a process called making, making is done by experts. Don't try it. Don't go and try to collect snake venom from snakes. It's dangerous. Don't do it. Only experts can do it. There are people who are trained to make snake venom from snakes. So once the snake venom is collected, it is um, lyophilized or freeze dried and then store it at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Then the next step is what animal are you going to use? The animal that is mostly used in the production of anti venom is horse. Possibly because he, he can produce an, a lot of blood. So once you have selected the animal to be monitored, to ensure that it's healthy, to ensure that it's not sick, that is one of the guidelines provided by World Health Organization. So once you have your snake venoms ready and the horse is ready, then the next step is what is called immunization. The horse has to be hyperimmunized by injecting the snake venom into the horse. So this is a um, a program and it is dose dependent. So once the snake venom is injected into the horse and it is allowed to produce a whole amount of antibodies. So the next step will be the collection of the blood from the animal. Once the blood is collected, the blood is separated into plasma and red cells. The red cell is infused back into the horse to ensure that the horse doesn't die of of anemia or shortage of blood. Then the plasma is what we need in this process. So this plasma contains the active substance, which is the antibodies, and it is further purified. It undergoes some steps. It has to undergo what is called ammon ammonium sulfate precipitation to obtain the immunoglobulin, which is the antibody. So this immunoglobulin is what is used to inject into humans or animal that has been bitten by a snake or snake bite victim. Notably, this active substance of antibody can be further fragmented into what is called monospecific fragment or polyspecific fragment. So what this means is that both the intact immunoglobulin, the fragments are capable of targeting toxins present in the antivenom. Remember, the antivenom has a lot of toxins Three finger toxins, phospholipase A2, snake venom metalloproteinases, snake venom serine proteins, a whole lot of toxins. So this antibody kind of target them, neutralize them. Before this antivenom is certified for, for use or distribution, it has to undergo preclinical and clinical testing. Also note that there are several quality control steps that are infused through this procedure in order to obtain a very safe anti-venom. Now we have described how we can produce anti-venom from a horse, 
using different types of snake venoms. In the next video, I'm going to talk about alternative means of treating snake bite inflammation, um, the production of alternative anti venom that are not from livestock. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel. There are many more contents regarding snakes, venoms, and all the rest. Thank you.